see that flat rock right there? Yeah. I've done this so low where this young guy was with paddled up underneath that. He could sit underneath that rock in his kayak. Oh, man. And then I've also done it so high to where we could just about reach up and touch the bridge touch when we went under. under. Yeah. You know, it's one of them things where I've been wanting to go bad for a couple of weeks and just hadn't caused it. You know, weather hadn't been great. And, yeah, it hadn't at all. And, uh, and then been busy at work and just different things. So I haven't, it's been several weeks. And even, but even today, it's like, man, I wanted to go so bad. You know, but then as it gets a little closer, you're like, man, is this really a right, is this the right decision? You know, it's yeah, kind of yeah. cool and Good weather's hair. still not perfect. Yeah, I have big hair. Yeah. But man, and I th I've thought that on a, a couple of different trips, but when I get out here, I'm always glad I did. Always. Now, and I've said this repeatedly. The only thing that keeps me off would be wind uh -huh. and lightning. Yep, exactly. Uh, always somewhere that the water's gonna be okay. Right. Um, like I'm, I'm not into trying to get into no serious class two rapids. You know, <laughs> right. situation. Yeah, same like here. Oh, oh yeah, it is. I never heard him. <laughs> I'm glad you said something because, yeah, you know, my hearing's not that good. So, uh, oh, okay. I, yeah, if you if you think you hear one, you let me know because yeah, I probably don't hear it. Yeah, and like I said, you know, everyone I've met on here, they're the same way. They they'll ease by you, and then once they get by you, you know, they're gone. But that's fine. But yeah, I've never had uh, any trouble on this creek with boats. Bartram uh, Trail, you heard that? Sound? Yeah, I think I've heard of it. You need to, you need to look that up. Like it's uh, it's like north of um, where, where the Mobile River flows in the Mobile Bay. It's like a huge wetland. Oh uh, yeah, that. Mm -hmm. So it's like no motor boats or anything yeah. in certain sections of it. So it's just nothing to paddle. In. I have it's, uh, uh, it's river camps and stuff, so it's like river sheds and stuff yeah. that you can uh, reserve, and then it's like just primitive bank camping and stuff you can uh, you can do as well. Yeah, I want to do like swamp paddling so bad. That mm -hmm. to me, that's just the coolest thing, you know. It is, it is. It's going like through mangroves and mm -hmm. you know in and out, all the look, oh, all the man, nooks yeah. and crannies. Like that's like the best paddling to me. Well, and, the, and the, again, the guy I was talking about earlier, Brad Moore, he lives in, up in northeast Alabama, but uh, him and a group of his friends go and do the Oki Pinoki Swamp. And now they're all in canoes, you know, and so they camp and they take uh -huh. all their gear and stuff. But, but yeah, they, they've done Oki Pinoki Swamp several times, and that is the coolest thing uh -huh. to, you know, watch those videos and seeing them paddle through there. And then they, they get out and they have these little camp shelters. And sometimes it's just a platform. You know, yeah. it's just a wooden platform that they built up mm -hmm. above the water, but... Yeah, it, and it, it has some of those, like it's wooden platforms mm -hmm. and it's uh, like almost like streamed in... Um, oh yeah. You know, mm -hmm. streamed in houses and stuff. Um, That's cool. When, my, when Frank and Matthew and I did this trip, we were a little on ways down, but there's one point where it's kind of quiet like this, and we're just kind of easing along, and all of a sudden one of those big herons took off, yeah. near, and we hadn't seen it. You know, and my batteries had died on my camera. Now, I had my little digital recorder going, mm -hmm. which was separate, so it got the audio, but the camera's went on, but that thing took off, and we never saw it. It was just like, what, what, what? You know, and I mean, yeah. scared the living daylights out of all of us. We don't have those in this, baby. Whoa. <laughs> I did not have my camera. <laughs> You know what those little um, splotches are up in the trees, don't you? Mistletoe. Mistletoe, yep. Mm -hmm. 
So enough. That's why I ain't paddling under it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh wow! You gonna go up in it? All right. I'm good right now, but I'm probably going to have to back all the way out. <laughs> I don't know that I'm going to be able to turn around. Oh, yeah, you got a longer boat now, don't you? Yeah, 12 and a half. And I think I can do a... Uh, well, my paddleboard is about that. I think I can do a 15-point turn. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that's about what we had to do on the city. You know, one of those yeah, little... Yeah, we did. We got in one of those things, and it was. It was a little tricky getting turned around. That was a nice spot. Man, I gotta get some pictures of this. Man, it was, yeah, that was that was a cool spot. I think if I do that again, I might want to That's kind of a little clearing spot. That's unusual how a spot cleared off like that out here. Yeah, I think it's Oh, it's dead. Well, it is, but. Alright. You can buy a spot right Yeah, that's true. You get turned around. That's kind of, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Especially with all the sand and stuff, it's a some kind of wash out or overflow where it just it dumps all that sand right there. You can come up here where I just was. All right. It'd be easy to turn around there. Oh yeah, that's gonna work good. I think he made it in less than 15 points. Oh, yeah. You can wind out back there. That's what made it a lot easier. Yeah, that, de that definitely saved us. He's <laughs> having it wide right here. And it was kind of, there was inclement weather that day and the threat of tornadoes and stuff. So there wasn't a lot of people out. So when I left, there's just two wardens just standing there at the entrance. So I stopped to talk to one of them. And man, we talked for probably about 40 minutes. He's a really nice guy. I talked to him a lot about gators too and uh, he told me he said well and and I'd heard this all my life he said you know the you heard people say that they brought them in here they brought the gators in to control the beavers I said yeah I've heard that he said that's not true mm, yeah he said that uh, you know they did bring some in back in the 70s when they were endangered down in Florida mm -hmm. trying to help expand their natural territory but he told me he said they have an article in the refuge office back from the late 1800s of an alligator being found in this area. So he said they, you know, there was a few that had just naturally migrated up here, but. Is that a creek there? Yeah, but they did, like I said, they, oh, right there, I don't know. They, uh, he said they did bring them in to kind of help the population. And, and they've obviously survived and done well. I don't think. Yeah, Frank and I had been messaging several times this week, kind of talking about doing a trip, but long about Thursday, he's like, man, is it gonna be too cold? <laughs> I said, I said, I don't know. I'm, I'm wondering that myself. And said, we had, uh, we had talked about it, but we weren't like just sold on it. But then when you kind of chimed in, I was like, well, heck yeah, let's do it. But then he, yeah, when Friday when you messaged and he said he had to have his window tent done, that was the first I'd heard of that. So yeah, <laughs> that might have been an excuse. Yeah, could have been. Could have been him checking out. Uh huh. Being now, like, the weather is nowhere near as nice as they said it was gonna be. No, nah, this is true. Yeah. You no, know, I'm, 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 I'm uh, <laughs> go with that because it was supposed to be sunny and like 60. Yeah. 
and uh, it is not sunny. It's well, just... mine, I think, I don't know, it's, it wasn't, mine didn't have it that warm, but it definitely said mostly sunny, but man, we ain't seen the sun or anything close to no, it yet. not at all. Man, um, down there on the 54, woo! Uh, God, yeah, if, if I'd known, and that's probably why I got more stuff with me today, but if we were doing that one again, I'd have a whole nother, I'd have a third dry bag, like with um, everything I need, yeah. just in case we had to be out there for the night. Cause yeah. that was, I was worried towards the end. I said, man, we've been out here a long time. I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, you know, and I was I was getting a little worried too. I was looking at my clock and our distance, and I'm like, because uh, we'd really been taking our time, which was yeah, fun. I'm we like, had. I think we're gonna be close to running out of daylight, and we might better start kind of paddling steady. And... Man, <laughs> let's see what we got at the moment. Yeah, this afternoon it still says 47 and partly sunny. And right now it's 40 degrees. Dude, we're not gonna hit no, 47 in three, two to three hours, because it's gonna peak at three, maybe four. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's, that's yeah, way they, too far Yeah, they missed it today. This... <laughs> <laughs> and I don't even know if 40 might be in town. It's probably 30 something right here. <laughs> You're like probably I, right. As a matter of fact, what is this? I got a little thermometer on this thing. It's like at 39, it's just, it's under 40. Wow. It's like 39 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> so, if this had been the forecast yesterday, would you uh, have done it? <laughs> you know what? It don't feel, I don't feel bad. You yeah. know, like, like I said, it's, it's, it's doable. I don't know. Um, I don't know. It'll, it would have been tougher to wait to get out of the bed this morning. <laughs> That's the main thing. You're right. It's, Waking up in the morning and knowing, man, we're gonna be out there and it's gonna be in the 30s a whole yeah. time. Yeah, because in the 30s is a whole different mindset. <laughs> you know, like that, that puts you in a whole different frame of mind. It does, because I mean. again, I was expecting 47. I thought with the sun, maybe it's, you know, it's yeah, gonna, 50. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 50, you know, I could see, yeah, that's close to 50. I'm like, I've, I've done 50s. I've even done upper 40s when mm -hmm. it felt good, but a cloudy, and low to low 40s upper 30s mm -hmm. this is yeah this is probably one of the cooler trips that i think i've ever done to be honest yeah and i'm still glad we came but yeah oh if, yeah if this had been the forecast I, I, yeah I'll probably, we probably wouldn't have made probably it probably wouldn't have made it I, i'll be honest yeah because yeah, I, I, I i think the struggle would have been getting up yeah knowing how cold it was going to be. <laughs> Man, look at that boil of water right there. There's something down there kicking it up, isn't it? Yeah, I see that. Only coffee, but it's, uh... oh, here's a spot right here. Oh, yeah. And see, water's actually going in right there. Yeah. If we could get through that, we could follow that through. But I think that's the spot because you see the water running into into there. Oh, you think so? Mm-hmm. We can get through that. It'd be it'd be an adventure. <laughs> well, we could right now, but like I said, I think we'd get, go back to a point. And, and I, think, have to come I back. think, yeah, mm -hmm. I think we, I really do. I, yeah. If it was up to normal level, level, I'd say let's do it. But uh, yeah, I'm afraid we'd get back there a good ways. And yeah, I hate that because that would be a fun. That is a fun little excursion. There's a flock of them up there. Mm -hmm. That lead bear calling up. That <laughs> may be. <laughs> well, he just got booted, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Uh, maybe they, they rotate or something. Yeah, they know. probably do. They say geese do. Oh, look at that. Oh, they having a little dispute. Wow, right? they are. They're about to do a little dive bombing on yeah. that one. <laughs> They're fighting over who's in charge. I think so. <laughs> oh, they doing some weird stuff. Man, they are.
They just be turbulence up there. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I had never seen that before. Y'all watch out when the animals start acting weird. Boy, don't you know? This may be our twilight zone moment. Yeah. We, we may start seeing animals doing crazy things. We're like, what the uh, heck is going on around here? That deer run across the creekway with some creepy <laughs> foreshadowing. <laughs> <laughs> you can probably walk through just about, I bet, this whole thing pretty close to it. Yeah, pretty, pretty shallow. Not that shallow there, is it? <laughs> Probably when we get a little off the green channel here. <laughs> you think I ain't just hop down thinking you were for it. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> You're like, damn, what are you talking about? You had all those extra miles. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that 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 hurt too. <laughs> like, Good grief! What was it? A fish, I guess. Uh, that was close. I I didn't see it. I just heard it. Just, but it was yeah, several flaps. Like, about about yeah, it's like several flaps. That it was on. Is that what it was? Mm -hmm. Yeah, big old branch fell when it took off on the ground. Oh, dang. I saw that bird take off and then I saw something go yeah, down. Yeah, that was a branch. Okay, I thought it was like birds going down to land, mm -hmm. but then I heard that. Yeah. That is crazy. <laughs> wow. Man, you do see some crazy stuff, don't you? <laughs> I've never seen that before. <laughs> oh, rip otters. Otters, I saw that. The two of them, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. I've never seen just one. Really? Mm. I've never seen just one. I've never seen, I've actually never seen a, that, seen them that clear as I did just then. I've mm -hmm. seen seen them in the water where I thought it was river otters, but then then again, when they're in the water and all you see is your head, it's like, is that a muskrat or a small yeah, beaver or yeah. what? But that's the first time I've ever seen them out of the water like that. Mm -hmm. See, something new once again. Hey, day of first. <laughs> Look, we got a little sun coming. See yeah, it down I see it down there. Know if we'll be able to stand. <laughs> Burst into flames, you know. Think of me living like a vampire. Still yeah. We're all used to the overcast now, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Get my sunglasses ready. Yeah, Rod that's right. Ball. You did bring them, didn't you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Get to use them jokers yet. Extra weight. No reason. <laughs> Could have shed them a few grams. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the truck. <laughs> 